Hi everyone, so you're welcome to today's video. Today we'll be looking at how to culture using a swap stick. So in a situation where your sample involves a swap stick, maybe you're taking high vagina swap, HVS, or wound, you want to get some organisms from wound and you're using a swap stick. How do you culture your swap stick on a petri dish? So that is what we'll be looking at today. Our sample was taken from wound. So after getting it from the hospital, we use the transport media to make sure that the organisms are intact and now I want to culture on a petri dish. Something else that you should not forget while working is your labeling. You know, I have lots of swap sticks here I'll be working with. I have different um, media here. I have citramide agar, I have um, manitol salt agar, and I also have makonki agar. So I have to make sure that my petri dishes are well labeled because without labeling rights, you could just mistake one for another. Some of them have the same color, so you just have to label right. For this, salt agar and it's a um, selective media for staphylococcus aureus. Staphylococcus aureus is always golden yellow on manitol salt agar. Other types of um, staphylococcus uh, species will also grow but with different color. So now I want to culture with the soft stick on the plate. First off, once I start, I will be talking to reduce the microbial load, you know. There will be microorganisms coming out from my mouth and I don't want them in the plate. So once I start, I will be quiet. So what I do is, I have my swap stick, I will open this. The flame, the bouncing burner is to make sure that this environment is sterile. So I open a little and then swap all through. I rotate, rotate the swap stick, also rotate the petri dish, swap all through. To make sure that every area of the plate is covered. All right. in the incubator for 24 hours and I will check my organism after 24 hours. Luckily, I see staphylococcus areas on my MSC. It will show golden yellow colonies. But if I don't get golden yellow colonies, mm, that means there are no staphylococcus areas here. Yeah, guys. So there you have it. I hope it was a simple process for you to follow. Make sure you do it right and make sure you quote your right. So I'll see you in my next video. Take care. And keep being a good microbiologist. Bye.